every element here has some healthful and cancer-fighting properties. Let's just go through them. Meet Dr. William Lee, a world-renowned Harvard-trained medical doctor, researcher, and president and founder of the Angiogenesis Foundation, who has significantly contributed to medical science. His work has led to more than 40 FDA-approved therapeutics and devices for cancer, cardiovascular disease, wound healing, and vision loss. He is also a New York Times best-selling author with Eat to Beat Disease, the new science of how your body can heal itself. Recently, he published a new book, Eat to Beat Your Diet, Burn Fat, Heal Your Metabolism, and Live Longer. Well, what you're actually talking about is what I'm working on, which is the, a new field of research called food as medicine. So the, the slogan or the saying food is a medicine was attributed to Hippocrates, you know, 3000 years ago. But in fact, <clears throat> back then there were no medicines. So food was the only thing that was around. Today we have a lot of medicines and, and it's because we, in the quest to develop medicines, we've employed some really deep science, molecular biology, genomics. We have drill right down inside the cell to figure out what happens and why and what the consequences are and how the cells work together. Well, one of the reasons that I uh, uh, went into nutrition was because I realized that food was something that could be used for prevention. You wouldn't want to use drugs for prevention, but the problem with food, nutrition, the criticism that many of us in the medical world have you know, about the idea of, of using food for healing was Historically, it was the lack of evidence, right? So we have a lot of evidence about drugs. We almost have nothing about foods. I mean, that's the dismissive tone that I think you probably were exposed to as well as I uh, for most of our education. However, what's happening now, and this is, I'm leading, I'm one of the people leading the charge of this. We can use the same technologies that are used to develop pharmaceuticals. And instead of throwing a drug into the system to see what happens, we can actually start to throw foods into those systems and, and see what happens as well. In today's video, alongside Dr. Lee, we'll explore seven pivotal fruits highlighted in Dr. Lee's latest book, Eat to Beat Your Diet, renowned for their cancer-fighting and fat-burning properties. We'll show how incorporating these seven fruits into your diet can not only improve your daily quality of life, but also significantly reduce the risk of developing cancer or accumulating excess fat in your body. A recent research study that did a meta-analysis of 57 studies looking at vitamin C from diet and cancer was found to lower the incidence of bladder cancer, breast cancer, cervical cancer, endometrial cancer, esophageal cancer, cancer of the stomach, brain tumors, lung cancer, pancreatic cancer, prostate cancer, and kidney cancer. Dr. Lee believes that food can and should replace medicine as both preventive and curative. Here are some of the fruits he has consistently identified to be good at killing cancer and burning fat. Number one, apples. Apples, you've heard of the saying, an apple a day keeps the doctor away? Well, this apple actually gets this doctor right here to actually pick some up because I love their crispy, sweet taste. Now, what's in an apple that's good for you? Chlorogenic acid. Chlorogenic acid lights up your metabolism by burning down harmful body fat. In the skin of an apple, by the way, is something called elagic acid. And you got to wash it really well anyway. But if you want one that doesn't have pesticides, get an organic apple, which will have more elagic acid in the skin. Guess what that does? That protects your stem cells and lights up your metabolism. One more apple fact. Apples are one of the highest sources of a natural bioactive called procyanidins. Procyanidins light up your brown fat to burn down harmful fat. Again, good for your metabolism three ways and also helps protect your stem cells to help regenerate your body from the inside out. What's not to like about this? Go for an apple a day. Over the years, apples have not only become the ultimate grab-and-go fruit, but have been lauded severally for their important health benefits. According to Dr. Lee, research shows that apples play a huge role in dealing with cancer and help burn fat. One of many antioxidants that you'd find in apples, especially in the peel, is quercetin. Studies show that quercetin can be very effective in combating cancer by slowing down its growth and spread across the body. Apples also contain fiber, which is an important ingredient in keeping your digestion running smoothly and can indirectly give your immune system a boost. This goes a long way in fighting off many diseases, including cancer, and can help keep your weight in check by burning fat. However, apart from fibers, apples are also loaded with vitamin C, another important antioxidant. 
Vitamin C helps your body's natural defenses, especially the immune system, to stay strong and ready to combat various illnesses, potentially including cancer. In fact, studies have shown that scientists have discovered that people who eat plenty of fruits and vegetables, like apples, tend to have a lower risk of having certain cancers. Number two, pears. Pears contain a class of antioxidants called flavonoids, particularly quercetin, which is also found in apples. Quercetin has been shown in studies to have anti-inflammatory and anti-cancer properties. It may help reduce cell damage caused by free radicals, which can contribute to cancer development. This is a pear, and the reason pears are so great are the fact that they've got chlorogenic acid, which is a bioactive, also found in apples, that can actually activate your metabolism and help you burn down harmful body fat. And chlorogenic acid is also anti-angiogenic, meaning it actually stops blood vessels from growing to tumors. Pretty cool. One of the things that I love about pears is that it's got a lot of dietary fiber. So an average pear has got about five or six grams of dietary fiber per pear. And a study from MD Anderson showed that just having that amount of dietary fiber can lower the risk of tumor progression or death by about 30% in one study where they looked at people with melanoma on immunotherapy. And so here is actually a food that can actually make medical treatments work better. Dietary fiber, pear, one of my favorites. Also, pears are a good source of fiber, boasting about 21% of the recommended daily value, which is essential for digestive health. They also help to keep you feeling fuller for longer and reduce cravings that can lead to overeating. Fiber also helps to maintain a healthy gut and digestion, which makes it useful in preventing and fighting cancer, as a healthy gut has been linked to lowering the risk of colon cancer. Hey, Dr. Will Lee here, and I wanted to actually share with you a food fact. Here I am at a produce market, and look what I found. I found pears. Did you know that a typical pear has six grams of dietary fiber? That dietary fiber actually feeds your gut microbiome, so when you want to actually get better gut health, eat a pear. Beyond these, Pears also offer a wide range of other health benefits. Their potassium content helps regulate blood pressure. The high water content makes you feel satisfied with fewer calories and also keeps you hydrated, which is important for various bodily functions. Pears are also a good source of copper, which supports nerve function and collagen production. Before we move on, please take a moment to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. If you find our videos helpful, please support us by dropping your comments in the comments section. Number three, grapefruit. The grapefruit, a member of the citrus family, is known for its great taste and the amazing health benefits it comes with. Hey, Dr. Will Lee here. I wanna show you something that's just over my shoulder. Look at this pink grapefruit. Now you want some of grapefruit? It is limiting. Limonene has been shown to activate your brown fat using thermogenesis to help you burn down harmful white fat. To start with, grapefruit is rich in vitamin C, a potent antioxidant that helps combat free radicals in the body. Free radicals damage cells and contribute to various chronic diseases, including cancer. Vitamin C's ability to neutralize these harmful molecules plays a role in cancer prevention. Additionally, grapefruit contains lycopene, another antioxidant with tons of research work done about it. Studies show that lycopene can help reduce the risk of certain cancers, particularly prostate and lung cancer. While grapefruit isn't a magic bullet you bite to have all your fat burnt up overnight, it offers the properties that can help you manage your weight. It has low calories and a high water content. These work together to keep you feeling fuller for longer on fewer calories. It has a higher fiber content. This effectively helps your gut and has been linked to reduced inflammation. This also helps manage your weight. Also, some studies suggest that grapefruit may influence insulin levels, potentially leading to more efficient calorie burning. Beyond these, the benefits of grapefruit include 1. Heart health. Grapefruit's fiber content can help lower cholesterol levels, which is beneficial for heart health. 2. Blood pressure control. Studies suggest grapefruit consumption may have a positive effect on lowering one's blood pressure. 3. Immune system support. Vitamin C, abundant in grapefruit, is essential for a healthy immune system. Number 4. Blueberries. Beyond being recognized as delicious summer fruits, 
blueberries are a very healthy option to consider as it regards to protecting your health. Blue comes from blueberries. Their beautiful blue color comes from a natural dye called anthocyanin. That's an antioxidant that protects your DNA, helps build your immune system, and also improves your metabolism as well. To start with, the vibrant blue color of blueberries comes from anthocyanins, a type of flavonoid with powerful antioxidant properties. Studies have shown that anthocyanins can hinder cancer development in several ways. They can neutralize free radicals that can damage DNA, the blueprint for healthy cells. Damaged DNA can lead to uncontrolled cell growth, a hallmark of cancer. Furthermore, anthocyanins might interfere with the blood supply to tumors, starving them of nutrients needed to grow. Research by Dr. William Lee suggests that blueberries may be as effective as certain cancer drugs in restricting blood flow to tumors. Just by eating like a cup and a half of blueberries um, uh, uh, a day, you can, uh, elevate your uh, T cells by like 88%. Okay. Um, and athletes that actually eat uh, blueberries regularly, they just walk around with a higher level of immunity to begin with. Anthocyanins have also been shown to increase fat oxidation, which is the process by which your body breaks down fat for energy. This means that your body would tap into its fat reserves easily during exercise, thus leading to you burning fat faster and more effectively. But beyond cancer treatment and burning fat, blueberries have some very amazing health benefits. They have been shown to help protect brain cells from damage, potentially reducing the risk of cognitive decline and age-related diseases like Alzheimer's. Studies have also shown that blueberries can improve memory and motor function, particularly in older adults. They're also a good source of fiber, which is important for digestion and gut health. Blueberries also boast vitamin C, which strengthens the immune system and helps the body absorb iron. These little fruits can also reduce inflammation, a major contributor to many chronic diseases. Number five, strawberries. Strawberries are amazing and delicious fruits. Packed full of nutrients and antioxidants, they offer a wide range of health benefits, including helping fight against cancer and burning off unwanted fat. Well, strawberries have something called elagic acid. Mm -hmm. In fact, elagic acid is what's make a nice strawberry tart. So strawberries are sweet, they're a little tart, um, uh, and the tartness comes from elagic acid. Well, elagic acid is made by strawberries. It cuts off the blood supply to tumors. It's actually good for your metabolism, burns down harmful body fat, um, is antioxidant, protects your DNA, lowers inflammation, as well as vitamin C in the same strawberry, um, and activates your stem cells. So what's not, like, what's not to like about strawberries? You'd want as much elagic acid as possible. Strawberries contain many antioxidants, particularly anthocyanins, the vibrant pigments that give them their red color. Anthocyanins fight against free radicals that damage cells and contribute to various health issues, including cancer. Apart from anthocyanins, strawberries also contain elagic acid in abundance. Elagic acid has been shown to help protect the DNA from damage, a crucial step in preventing cancer cell formation. Strawberries are also a good source of fiber, which promotes digestive health and helps regulate blood sugar levels. Stable blood sugar has been linked to a lower risk of chronic diseases like type 2 diabetes, which can contribute to aging and other health problems. Additionally, the fiber content can help you feel fuller for longer, promoting healthy weight management. Strawberries are low in calories and fat-free, making them a perfect fruit for those watching their weight. Strawberries contain heart-healthy nutrients like vitamin C and potassium. Vitamin C helps maintain healthy blood vessels, while potassium regulates blood pressure, both contributing to a healthy cardiovascular system. Blueberries, blackberries, and even strawberries. You know, anthocyanin is a kind of a reddish, purplish, natural dye that is mm -hmm. anti-androgenic, immune-boosting activity. Eating berries actually is really helpful for your health defenses. According to new research, flavonoids found in strawberries may actually benefit our mental health. These compounds may improve memory function and potentially help protect against neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's. Number six, avocado. Avocados have become a well-known superfood, praised for their creamy texture and delicious taste. But beyond the kitchen, research suggests avocados can offer loads of health benefits when incorporated intentionally into your diet. Hey, Dr. Will Lee here, I wanna show you something. This is a very healthy uh, produce you can find in the market, avocado. It's a great source of dietary fiber and healthy fats, monounsaturated, called oleic acid. Basic oleic acid is the same stuff you find in 
olive oil. So if you want to benefit your circulation, your blood vessels and your gut health, think about uh, avocados. According to experts, avocados are rich in monounsaturated fats, particularly oleic acid, which some research indicates may have anti-inflammatory properties. Chronic inflammation is linked to an increased risk of various cancers. Additionally, avocados contain carotenoids like lutein and beta-carotene, which function as antioxidants. Apart from this, avocados boast a wealth of nutrients that may contribute to healthy aging. They're a good source of vitamin E, a powerful antioxidant that protects cells from damage associated with aging. Additionally, avocados are rich in fiber, which promotes gut health. Also, avocados contain healthy fats that help you get satisfied, even with their low calories. This goes a long way in burning off fat and managing your weight. However, the health benefits of avocados extend beyond their role in fighting cancer and burning fat. Here's a look into some of their other advantages. 1. Heart health. The monounsaturated fats in avocados can help lower LDL, bad cholesterol levels, and raise HDL, good cholesterol levels, promoting heart health. 2. Eye health. Lutein and zeaxanthin, antioxidants found in avocados, are beneficial for eye health and may help protect against age-related macular degeneration. 3. Nutrient absorption. Healthy fats in avocados can aid in the absorption of fat-soluble vitamins like A, D, E, and K found in other foods you consume. Number 7. Tomatoes. Tomatoes over the years have become indispensable in our kitchens, warming their way into many of our dishes and soups. They are even eaten raw at times. But beyond the sweetness or tartness of the tomato, it comes packed with amazing health benefits. Numerous studies have shown that tomatoes contain the chemical lycopene, which restricts blood vessel growth. Tomatoes, one of my favorites, contain a bioactive called lycopene that's been shown to improve your circulation, lower the risk of prostate cancer and breast cancer, and also improves your metabolism by burning away harmful body fat. This antioxidant is also the chemical responsible for the fruit's redness. But how does lycopene work? First, by acting as an antioxidant, it neutralizes free radicals and protects healthy cells from their harmful effects. Antioxidants are very effective in losing weight and burning fat. Studies also suggest that lycopene might influence cell growth pathways, potentially slowing down the uncontrolled division of cells that can lead to cancer. And in certain cancers, lycopene might help regulate the activity of hormones like testosterone, which can play a role in prostate cancer development. The best example I know is a study of 79,000 men followed over 20 years in which it was found that men who consumed cooked tomatoes two to three times a week had up to a 50% reduction in their risk of developing prostate cancer. Now, we know that tomatoes are a good source of lycopene, and lycopene is anti-androgenic. But what's even more interesting from this study is that in those men who did develop prostate cancer, those who ate more servings of tomato sauce actually had fewer blood vessels feeding their cancer. Additionally, tomatoes offer many other health benefits, including vitamins A and C, which further bolster the immune system and contribute to overall health.